Yo, are you trying to get better at Warzone? Continue to watch this video because I'm going to walk you through the steps that I use in order to make sure that I drop the best gameplays possible. We're going to be going over movement, which includes slide canceling, tactical sprint. We're going to be going over centering. Hey, just stay tuned. Now, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step process during a live game of what I'll be doing. All right, so we're dropping in to Rebirth quads so already i'm at a disadvantage but i do like that first thing you want to do is make sure that you are dropping into an area that you're very very familiar with if you don't have one pick a spot and then continue to drop there until you get very familiar with it you'll learn the patterns of typically of where people go so i'm already at a disadvantage there so i'm gonna bail out it's the first step make sure you know when to bail out that is super important. Sometimes fights just aren't going to go your way. You don't want a 50-50 gunfight. Right? So I knew that that wasn't going to go my way. So I immediately got out of there. I see this happen a lot with some of the people that I play with. Um, typically, it's, it's new beginners. Make sure that you're plating up. Like, I know that seems very, very simple and basic, but there's a lot of times people just don't plate it when they have the opportunity. Now we're going to jump into the big stuff, right? Tip number one is movement first thing I would recommend is going and making sure that you have tactical sprint turned on. So that's all the way down here. Slide behavior is on tap. Automatic sprint is tactical sprint. What does that mean? As soon as I start moving, it's an automatic sprint. All right. With that being said, also make sure you're slide canceling correctly, which is slide, slide, jump, slide, slide, jump, slide, slide, jump. Adding these things together is going to make your movement, once you get used to it, a little bit better. All right. And then adding on top of that, we're going to put in centering. All right, So that's keeping your crosshair pointed where you think the center mass of that person is going to be. Their center mass or above. Some people run around like this. You can even watch some of my videos. and it's you got to really be focused on it. They'll be running around like this. So like I hear... See, I was already centered right there. If I wasn't centered, he beats me. So we get a kill. I immediately get out of there. Why do I get out of there? Because he knows where I'm at. He's expecting me in a certain spot. Right there. That's another perfect example of having center. I knew that guy was... Yes, I did die right there. But that's okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go into another game. Alright, I'm going to switch scenes real quick while that game loads up. I knew where that guy was. So I jump around, knowing that he's above me, centering, and I'm able to get the kill. Had his teammate not been there, he'd have been dead. Alright, so continue on. Centering is super, super important. It's something that you want to make sure that you're you're actively focusing on because if you're not actively focusing on it, you're you're just subconsciously not going to be doing it, and you're it just, it just puts you at a huge disadvantage. So again, first thing is to make sure that you're jumping down into a spot that you're very familiar with. Like I said, when I'm playing Rebirth, I always go down here. Um, typically, not many people go down here. Usually, guns. And I'm just going to use that. And as you can see, like, I'm, I'm keeping my centering up. So one of the biggest things about centering is, is having your cursor somewhere where you think someone's going to be. So whenever I'm slide canceling around a door, right, I, like it's, let's say there's a guy right here, right? You're going to be coming around the corner faster than his camera can project it. So there's a guy that's above me. I can hear him, right? So sound cues is super important. So I know he's to my left because I can hear him running around. He's gone now. But as you can see, I'm keeping my centering uh, where I think they're going to be. If, they're, if I'm going down steps, I want it up steps. I mean down. 
I'm going up steps again. I want it to be facing up, right? I hear another guy running right here next to him. So once I get a shot, the guy knows where I'm at. I want to position myself somewhere different. Alright, so I didn't have a gun that I would like to use. Excuses, excuses, right? However, you're understanding what I'm saying. You keep the centering at the right spot, and they have to look up. Most people run around with, the, with, with their gun pointed to the ground, and then they have to look up. And that split second does make all the difference. One thing I did forget to go over early on was making sure that the mini-map is put into a square. Uh, the vault is having it around, and I forget the percentages, but you do get a significant amount more real estate by having your mini-map in a square. Which brings me to the next point. Being fully aware of what's going on and knowing what's going on with your mini-map. Especially in this game mode, whenever you kill somebody, kill their teammate, their teammates will pop up on the mini-map. So take for example, if you look at my mini-map, you'll see that his teammates popped up, right? I hear him behind me. Or he's still below me. Alright, so right there... I'm in a better position just due to the fact that centering, um, I did get lucky. Like, sometimes luck goes into it. But my centering was better than he was, and he had already started to run. And I guarantee you, when he started to run, he was doing this. So then he had to look up, stop, and aim. He just put himself at a huge disadvantage. This guy was clueless. He was not aware what was going on. He wasn't aware of his surroundings. Like, again, that's that's very, very important. All right, so I can see that there's an engager going on. So you see the guy's flash. He doesn't have an arrow. <laughs> I'm just in engagements right now. All right, so his teammates are at the other end. I can hear them walking towards me. I can hear one to the left. I thought that bush. All right, so that 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 game right there was a perfect example of how pre-firing, pre-aiming, and centering makes all the difference, and then listening. If you don't get yourself a good headset, I use Astros. You need to be getting on that. So, recapping on the things you need to make sure you're doing is getting your movement down right so going into like plunder or, or if you own actual modern warfare because i because cold war is not the exact same engine so it doesn't use the exact same movement so make sure that you are using um war uh modern warfare uh if you have the game if you don't then, then go into plunder and practice getting that slide canceling movement down a lot better make sure you have tactical sprint on uh do understand that whenever you're using guns like a shotgun or whatever the case may be you know, if you're running, you're not just going to be able to start spamming and shooting like you would if you were just doing a normal walk or a normal run. You actually have to slide to uh, to activate that. I, I don't know if it's a flaw or whatever the case may be, but keep that in mind. If you're using a shotgun and someone comes around a corner, you need to slide in order to shoot the gun or stop running altogether, which don't do. Slide cancel out of it, okay? 
or aim. You can press the aim button to shoot. But if you're just trying to hip fire and you're running in a tactical sprint, you're not going to be able to use it. Make sure you change your mini map to square. Give yourself that more real estate and be fully aware of what's going on around you. If you enjoyed the video, please, I ask you to hit the like button. And if you would like me to elaborate on more uh, of the topics or a specific topic to make a video about, please leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and love.